All right, what's up, y'all? Y'all already know. What's up? I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We're going to talk about the Von Flute choke. Um, it's a very interesting situation. More, more, more often than not, people are able to be successful with a Von Flute choke based on someone going for a guillotine. So almost every single time that someone does it, it's to counter the guillotine. And actually, this is uh, I enjoy this. It's kind of hard to get on high level, guys, but it's cool. So we're going to talk about it. So. <laughs> Jerry's gonna go ahead and commit to a guillotine. And for the sake of the camera, I'm gonna use my left hand just so yep. you can come around this way. But normally yep. I'm right-handed, so I wouldn't go for a guillotine necessarily with my left hand. But so do you want me to put well, you in guard? Yeah, let's okay. turn this way. So mm -hmm. Jerry's gonna go ahead and come this way. Mm -hmm. So Jerry's gonna go ahead for a guillotine, mm -hmm. and my head will be so on this side. And this is so weird to do a left-handed guillotine. <laughs> so before the, the idea before is before you can. Uh, pull this off is to know that this, you want to do it in the first place mm -hmm. so i don't want him to close his guard mm. so my goal is to not let him do that so he's going to commit to the guillotine so basically some people will grab your head before they close the guard i see ah, yep. I so see. i'm going to pop up uh -huh. i'm going to use do you want me to do you want me to um like no, 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 grip my no. okay all right so so i'm going to pop up mm -hmm. and my goal is to to kind of tripod with my head mm. my shoulder is in his sternum mm -hmm. And then my head is posted on the ground. Mm -hmm. Now, people, I was actually asked this yesterday. Well, is it gonna is it gonna hurt your head? I'm like, no, because you're using your own shoulder to push into their sternum or their abs. So he's he's going for the guillotine. So let's say I, you know, I probably don't have it secured, right? That's the whole yep. point. So like, or even if you have it even tight, even if I oh, like really tight. Yeah. So I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already feel that pressure. Yeah. And my goal. Okay. okay. My goal is to not let him. My goal is to not let him uh, take his arm away. Mm. So my goal is to trap his arm in that position as well. So I want to have enough pressure that he might be able to lift his hand. You know, but my goal is to make him commit to keeping that arm there. Uh, so he has the guillotine. So so the key is I, my guillotine becomes a weapon against me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so my arm is gonna be above his shoulder. It does nothing here. Mm -hmm. So before he gets his arm over to block my arm. Oh, to block oh my so arm, there's a lot of pummeling going on. Yeah, I got to go here. So. Oh, wow. Right, my head is going to go under his head. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to start to lean. <laughs> oh, shit. So like, you didn't even have yeah. to tripod that much. No, it's it's wow. not. Yeah, it's not that much. So, so let's actually show it on the opposite side. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So he's going to go. So, so you, you want me to go there. right yeah, here? So he's gonna go. No, yeah, you're good. Right? Okay. So he's gonna go for the guillotine, so you guys can see it right here. So he's gonna go this side. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna climb. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! Wow. And I'm gonna step if I can, mm -hmm. or hop. Yeah. Go behind his head. Grab his shoulder. Eh. So you're basically using this part of my arm to. Ch yeah. So it's like you're using your shoulder and my arm. Wow. Yep. And that's. And then, so that's why he has to make sure my arm is trapped. Yeah. Because so, okay, go ahead. No, you're good. You're good. Because like, if I get my arm out, then it's only a single carotid, and I can still I can still function. Let's get this way a little. Okay. Bit. Yeah. So you guys can see. Yeah. So he has the guillotine. So, so let's see. My arm is already here. I'm mm -hmm. committed to it. Mm -hmm. I don't want him to be able to move this arm. Uh, so I can yeah. even grab it. Yeah. That's. Ew. Woo. And woo for you crazy savages out there. Woo. Wrist lock. Oh, while you, you bon flu choke me? Yeah, so you're here. Uh -huh. So here, I'm pushing, and I push. Eh, well, I like that because <laughs> he might be trying to fight you, and yeah. then you just wrist lock him. So obviously, you know, the von fluke choke was, uh, you know, von fluke created it. Yeah. Um, it's very unorthodox, but it's really sneaky. Yeah. Especially wow. being like, like a white belt or a blue belt. After seeing it, if you try to put it on somebody, like another white belt or blue belt, uh, eh, probably not going to catch it. So, I mean, they'll, like you, you'll probably catch it. They probably won't catch that. You're trying to do that uh, because it's so underutilized. So, wow. you good? Yeah, so I'm thinking about defense. So as a defense, I guess the pummeling thing we're doing is good. As a defense. Do I uh, turn into you? Yeah, as a okay. defense to this, as a defense to this, like, big picture here is... Uh -huh. For the choke, mm -hmm. if my head is on this side of your body, right, this side, mm -hmm. I want my legs over there mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. a guillotine to get out of it. Yeah. It's 99% of the time, the choke will be completely gone. 
just by moving my body. Mm -hmm. So you have the guillotine. So I, I have it here. And I'm past yeah. here. Yeah. So it's gone already. I see. So if you, so a lot of people mm -hmm. from that position will try their hardest to continue to hold on. Oh. For like white belts, blue belts, maybe a purple belt, maybe possibly, but mostly white belts and blue belts won't want to let it go because mm. of pride. And I still squeeze. Yeah. Uh, but for for you, you don't want me to pass this way. Uh. So come here real quick. Mm -hmm. And we'll actually show this in real time. So I'll actually show you. So let's say I'm I'm trying to fun flu you. Yeah. Okay. So. So I'm gonna go for the guillotine. Mm -hmm. I'm going down for the guillotine. Mm -hmm. Now, from here, my the defense to this, mm -hmm. to getting Von Fluke, mm -hmm. is so, not to let you pass your arm. Oh, that's the key. And your head's over here. Mm -hmm. His head's over here, mm -hmm. so I don't want him to pass that way. I see. So I can either close my guard uh -huh. or get ready for him to try to hop. So let's say let's say I, I try to hop and then Oh, so you're you're yeah. fighting my hop basically. Yeah, and then and so then, as I'm looking up. And even then you could go here. Mm. Oh, and then you're transitioning. Go for an arm bar. Oh. And then you could go here. Ah, and then you gotta choke. You gift wrap. Yeah. Gift wrap. You could go for the, take the back. You could start to grab and go for the back. Uh, go for the sweep. Oh, yeah. Climb for the arm bar. I but see. to defend the Von Fluke. Mm -hmm. So the no gi, it's real. It's, it's not the same. It's not super easy getting a, a guillotine mm -hmm. because everyone's sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I go for the guillotine, mm -hmm. and I, I know you're a high level guy, mm -hmm. I am expecting you to try to hop. Oh. So you're gonna try to climb this arm up. Mm. So for me, I might just let it go. Oh, so to attack your arm. Go just because arm you bar. know the, you know you're playing chess basically. You know what yeah. the guy's gonna do. So yeah. instead of like be reactive, you be proactive. Exactly. So like right when you start to climb, if okay, you get so, so your so arm up say, above mine. Let's say you look at, you think I'm gonna do von Flu. Yeah. Okay, and then. Boom, boom. Uh oh, and then turn. transition and, and boom. Look at that. Go for the back. Yeah, go for the back. Go for a chicken wing action. Chicken wing. <laughs> so. Wow. Von Fluke is, in my opinion, it's it's fairly underutilized. Um, a lot of higher guys will do it and, and it'll be gone. Like we, my guys I train with, someone will attempt to throw it and then right when they do it, it's like, boom, move. And it's gone. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it is very underutilized, you know, in many ways. Yeah. You yeah. see it in mixed martial arts a lot too, yeah. But it's because a lot of MMA guys might be, you know, way better at their striking, and specifically than they are overall with jujitsu included. So yeah, you know, you see the MMA. I but. think when I'm learning from uh, Clinton, because one time back in the day when I was doing jujitsu, a guy tried to get to me, and I attempted the von Flu choke. But what I didn't do right was that. I didn't think of it as a tripod action. Yeah. So my body was too kind of flat along him. So I was like, I was trying to basically crank and I couldn't get the leverage. Yeah. And so notice how he really tripoded himself on me. There was so much pressure on my yeah. neck. Yeah. So that's what I learned that's from a, him. That's the big thing too, you know, and I have a neck injury. Um, and so a lot of people are like, oh, is that going to hurt your head? Is that going to hurt your neck? No, no. Because you're using your own shoulder, your own shoulder, whichever shoulder is there to put the pressure into their torso, to their chest, to their sternum, to their rib cage, their abs, wherever you end up. So you're pinning them with your shoulder and your hips are up high, so your weight is down like a downward dog in yeah, yoga. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but it's down. So in downward dog in yoga, it's more of like a fluid, you kind of just balancing out upper body, lower body. And the Von Fluke set up the tripod or um, any very, even that wrist lock that's there, you're like driving your weight down. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like 80% of your body weight. And your feet are so far back and you're pinned so you shouldn't feel like compromised in terms of someone going for a sweep yeah so yeah. it really comes down to um almost every time i've seen it pulled off it's in a defense to a guillotine yeah so yeah. right away to to not get choked out from a guillotine you got to be able to pass to the opposite side if your head's over here your body needs to be over here lower body and while you're there you might as well drop the shoulder yeah. and start yeah. to climb your hand under their head to set up the von fluke yeah so, so. thanks again clinton I, I because what happened was when when the guy i i, I had the von, i had even the this grip right and i was like i was like why isn't it working and eventually i tapped because he was cranking on my neck and you know yeah. i was like i couldn't do it but yeah. it was because i was too flat i didn't have the downward dog kind of like tripod yeah. pressure on him yeah. that would have that would have made the choke work and one thing that, one, and one thing to really point out too is with the shoulder to really secure it you want to Someone, some people try to put their chin in the way. In a tournament, you could break their jaw Oof. or their teeth. So you gotta like be able to shimmy your shoulder 
underneath their chin mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. separate it. Now, if it's catch wrestling or if it's a fight, a real life fight, or if it's MMA, like whatever, there should be wearing a mouth guard. If it's real, if, it, if it's MMA, um, it's not on you. Uh, but if it's just training to have fun, don't be mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or be mean. <laughs> exactly. So appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know if you got other things you want me to talk about. Uh, this is actually one of the things that I've been putting back into my game and working on heavily. <laughs> Um, it's, it's very sneaky, especially that wrist lock. Do that wrist lock. Yeah. So all you're doing here is you're grabbing the fingers and you're pushing up. Yeah. yeah. It seems really like super unutilized. Yeah. Wrist lock, yeah. So. Um, one thing to emphasize what he said, um, a lot of people when they do wrist locks, they crank here, but instead fingers yeah. like right, right in the knuckle area, yeah. finger there. So that you just grab, much more leverage. you grab right yeah. underneath. Yeah. Right there. So the knuckles yeah. right underneath right there. So for me, like even in IBJJF, I think it's the rule is you have to grab three fingers. So you can literally grab three fingers. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I think that's the rules. Now with ADCC and others, um, I don't think they're they're not that strict. So either way, I like to grab four fingers yeah, yeah. and then push. Yeah. Right when you push, they have to react. Yeah, they have to. It has to. So I appreciate y'all. Make sure you please uh, subscribe and uh, comment different things you want me to talk about. Um, you know and. Make sure you subscribe to Jerry's channels as well. Yeah. Jerry, can tell him where to subscribe. Uh, fight commentary BJJ or fight commentary <laughs> breakdowns. Yeah, cool. yeah. I, uh, Clinton Harris BJJ. Shout out to Bullet Safe. I'm doing the the shaka a lot just because I'm feeling kind of shaka. That's right. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Later.